Hello everyone, I'm Dr. August de Oliveira, and I'm here to talk about the exciting world of 3D printed digital analog models. We're all familiar with uh, conventional stone implant analog models. You take an impression, the lab screws in a uh, conventional implant analog, pours up the stone. What happens if you want to reuse that analog? Well, you got to dig it out. And in doing so, a lot of the times you damage the analog itself. So today I want to talk a little bit about this printer here, the Asiga Max UV, and all the parts and pieces involved in implant analog models. Now, if you want to learn more, um, I've got two courses coming up in 2020, my 3D printing party. Uh, it'll be in sunny Minneapolis, uh, January 17th and 18th, two days of just 3D printing. So analog models, how to make your own aligners, digital dentures, surgical guides, all that fun stuff. The second course that I'm teaching, February 20 through 22, or 22nd, uh, is a dedicated CIREC implantology course. So everything from scanning scan bodies, in the mouth, milling your own, zirconia and Emacs restorations, also going over how to get images for a denture, as well as a hybrid, both using the Omnicam, as well as using the Prime Scan. So um, just a little bit about the Asiga Max. Since this cures at 385 nanometers, um, it has the ability to cure different types of materials. And the material we're gonna be using is a gingival mask material. It's made out of rubber, so it's no different than the polyvinyl stuff your lab probably uses. Now, so I wanted to show uh, basically what goes into a 3D printed implant analog model. You can see here this little trilobe, and this trilobe is associated with an NT trading screw in analog. And so here's the 3D printed model. You can see a little dark portion here. This is for a separate 3D printed gingival mask. And I'll just go ahead and turn that off. You can see we used an NT trading scan body, which is made out of peak. Um, and you can see the gingival mask that we took of the patient where we shaped the tissue with a contour healer. Uh, we've planned a custom healing abutment. You can see that my implant is placed a little too lingual. And here's a crown. We're opting for a screw mentable restoration, kind of a dumb name, but what a screw mentable restoration uses is instead of using a tie base, it uses a custom abutment. This framework is cemented on top of this, uh, screwed down in the mouth. The cement is initially cleaned intraorally. This is unscrewed, and then the remaining cement is cleaned up. Talk about the parts and pieces involved. First and foremost, here is our gingival mask that we printed on the Asiga printer. Uh, you can see that's made out of rubber. It's printed it's printed flat on the build plate. There's no supports that you have to remove that might inhibit uh, seating it. Here's the model. If you zoom in real close, you can see there's an anti-rotational feature in this model. And so here we have an NT trading DIM analog. I don't know what DIM stands for. It must be something digital. And you can see here there is a trilobe that's going to engage that anti-rotational feature. I've gone ahead and put the scan body on this just to serve as a handle. And so we can go ahead and put this in and we just rotate it till it goes down all the way. Holding it down, I'm gonna go ahead and take this part and this is just a little set screw that screws the whole thing in. And so now, we have our analog model with the scan body. I'm gonna remove the scan body. And voila, we've got an implant analog model. So let me show uh, you a few parts that we've milled out here. And so this is a milled titanium abutment. And so you can see here, the hole is towards the palatal. So hopefully that's gonna help me put it in here. We're gonna to tighten this down. So it's down all the way, and it looks like I'm not. So I'm going to push that down. Get that in there. And so this is the custom titanium abutment. This is also made by NT Trading. We've milled out an Emacs crown. Uh, we've sintered it. 
and stained and glazed it as well. But just to show you how these fit, I'm gonna pop this on the top and you can see here how it's fitting. We cut the sprue off and stained and glazed it. And this is our crown that we placed. So here you go. This is a conventionally cemented crown. In the video, I show you from the three shape lab case. It's a screw mentable type that has a hole, but uh, pretty nice and easy stuff. And it really gives you control of your restoration if you are milling these in house as a two appointment procedure.